안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And today we have two of the most controversial foods on the internet. One is Hawaiian pizza. Some people believe that you should never put fruits on pizza. And here we have mint choco, which is the combination between mint and chocolate. Some people believe that this tastes like toothpaste and some people love it. So today we're going to find out the truth. The way we're going to do that is by going to Twitter. We're going to go to Twitter. We're going to search for the hashtag pineapple pizza and mint choco. We're going to get all those tweets using Python and we're going to analyze the sentiment. That means we're going to find out if the tweet is positive or negative. And at the end of the day, we're going to be able to figure out if the internet agrees that you should put fruit on a pizza and if mint choco tastes like toothpaste. So let's get started. Step one is to go to Twitter and search for Hawaiian pizza and mint choco. We want to get as many tweets as we can related to those keywords. Right now, we could go to Twitter and we could just copy paste stuff or we can use Python. With Python, we can get those tweets really, really quickly. So with this code, we are using TweetPy. TweetPy is a Python client for Twitter and this allows us to get tweets very, very, very quickly. So as you can see here, we can search for Hawaiian pizza or any keyword that we want and those tweets are gonna come really, really fast. Now, let's check out how that response looks like and you will see, there you go. There's a lot of text right there, very, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those tweets, I'm going to clean the text a little bit and we're going to save those tweets on a file, all right? We're gonna do that for Hawaiian pizza and for mint chocolate so later we can analyze the tweets. I'm gonna leave this running for as long as Twitter allows me because I'm sure they're gonna block me at some point. And I will see you when we have the two files, mint chocolate and Hawaiian pizza. See you soon. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like toothpaste, but it's like good toothpaste, you know? Okay, we're done getting tweets. And although Twitter blocked me at the end, I could get a pretty big amount of tweets. So I feel pretty happy about that. We have tweets about mint chocolate. We have tweets about Hawaiian pizza, both of them big numbers. So now what we have to do is we have to analyze the sentence. Now, how are we going to do that? What we're going to be using is something called sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is part of a bigger area of machine learning, and that is called natural language processing. Natural language processing focuses on using machine learning to understand the meaning and the structure of text. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using the natural language processing API of Google and it's pretty accurate. So let me give you a demo. So for example, over here, what we're going to be using is let's say pizza, this one. Hawaiian pizza is a sin. Okay, so we're going to start with this sentence. Hawaiian pizza is a sin. Somebody thinks this way. We're going to click analyze and what we want to do is we're going to get a score, a score between minus one and one. If the score is closer to one, that means that the sentence is pretty positive. And if it's minus one or closer to minus one, that means the sentence is pretty negative. So let's analyze this sentence and see what we get. If we look at sentiment over here, you will see that this sentence has a score of minus 0.6. That means that it's a negative sentence, okay? That's good. Let's try with a positive sentence and see. So in mint chocolate over here, let's look at, for example, mint chocolate for life right here okay so let's copy this put it here and let's see how google feels about this sentence and this sentence gets a score of 0.8 that's pretty close to one so it means it's pretty pretty positive okay so now all i have to do is i have to connect to the google api i have to send them each one of the sentences on these two files and we'll get a score we're going to add that score up and we're going to get our answer so see you soon I like the meat. It's really fresh. All right, I'm done with the programming and we are connected with the Google API. And as you can see on the screen, I am sending requests and I'm getting scores. These scores are being saved, classified between positive and negative. And then at the end, we are going to get a nice graph on the screen showing us the positivity and the negativity of these foods. So. Let's wait. And before we see the result, why don't you write on the comments who you think is going to have the most positive outlook on this race? See you soon. Now, wow, it's a lot of mint. You like that. What's wrong with me? I like everything. Okay, the results are in. Drum roll, please. And boom. This is it. 
This is the result. Hawaiian pizza, positive, 65%. Negative, 34%. Mint chocolate, positive, 70%. Negative, 29%. Wow, I thought people are going to hate mint chocolate more. But actually, people dislike Hawaiian pizza more than they dislike mint chocolate. And that's interesting, wow. I'm gonna check out the comments and see what you said was going to be the most disliked food. I did not expect this. I thought people were going to dislike mint chocolate more. All right, interesting stuff. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy these kinds of projects. I personally had fun because I ate good food and this is very interesting and fun thing to find out. As you can see, everything done on this course was using Python. Python is a super awesome programming language that allows you to do fun stuff like this. As you can see, we can do scraping, we can do connecting to APIs, we can even do plots, we can do awesome stuff. As you can see, we got the tweets, we sent them to an API, and now we are even making a chart of the results. All that with Python. So if you want to learn Python, please check out our free Python course. The link is on the description. I believe Python is the best language for beginners and it's the best language for many, many things. As you can see, super, super versatile. So don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. In this case, don't forget to eat mint chocolate. Hamsamnida, saranheo. Bye-bye.